You gotta, you're gonna do everything as a quicker movement, okay? You got his uh, lungs a little bit, yeah. but do it as a quicker spaz, spastic type of an action. Okay. Yeah, I think that probably did it. You better fix him up. Hi, I'm Evan Pantazzi. Today I'm gonna talk about the techniques that we're using. Now, a lot of people uh, that are out there don't want to believe in Kyushu because they really, uh, quite honestly, have never put the time in to study it or experience it or to practice it, etc. And we have lots of comments from those types of folks. And when you question them how much training they've had in Kyushu, they admit that they don't have any, but they don't think they would because they think it's false. Well, then they just basically don't know. But here's what I want to talk about today. Not that they don't believe the technique, but when you look at these techniques, they're in vital targets, they're in vital areas. Now, the carotid sinus, for example, the throat, as an example. When you apply pressures or concussives or applications to these targets, they're going to, of course, be dangerous. And if you believe in a rear naked choke, for example, you should believe in the gripping of that same structure could cause the same um, fainting, uh, knockout or more severe damage like cessation of breath, etc. So when we do a technique, say like um, hangetsu, the sealing of the breath right at the end of the hangetsu, the double clawed action on the neck with the knee into the spine area, people would say, okay, I don't believe that works. And I believe there is a comment on my YouTube channel for that technique that um, refuted that that would be a valuable or a viable technique. But here's the thing, take the Kyusho out of it. If you grab a person with the two carotid sinuses and your fingers are on the carotid arteries, the vagus nerve, um, whatever nerve structures, the phrenic nerve that are in that area, and you squeeze with enough strength, of course, you're gonna stop the breathing because the phrenic nerve goes to the diaphragm, the vagus nerve goes to the heart and many other organs in the body. You're gonna cause distress in those organs, which of course will affect the person uh, receiving it. Now, when you knee into the back at the same time and attack from both sides on say the diaphragm, as an example, the liver, the heart, as you pull it back on the hands, your knee is jabbing forward into a cat stance position as you drop your weight. Well, that person and that technique is going to be viable. Whether you call it Kyushu or not, it's still a valuable technique. And that's what I want you to think about. For those people that are saying, oh, Kyusho, this pressure point stuff doesn't work. And okay, maybe you don't want to believe that, but the Kyusho I do does not use pressure points. It uses nerves, it uses blood vessels, it uses organs, it uses um, different structures of the body, different um, autonomic nerve system reactions like the reflexes. So when you're doing these techniques, even if you stripped out the um, the Kyusho, okay, you still have a powerful technique that's going to injure an opponent, okay, and you will uh, command that situation. So again, um, man will perish without knowledge, so seek the knowledge. If you like these techniques, look into them, practice them. If you don't like these techniques, at least be honest with yourself and go and investigate it if you really want to know if it's true or not, okay, instead of just negating it without ever experiencing it. So thanks again for watching the channel. Stay tuned for more.